Hey you guys, it's your boy Midnight Snorlax and we back again making another Q video. So for this video, we're gonna be doing the spin the wheel challenge. Before we start the video, I would like to thank everybody who has been supporting my channel, who has been watching my channel, liking and subscribing, and especially the comments down below. Those comments helped me motivate to make more videos. I didn't think that I would reach until in here 17 subscriber guys. We have reached 17 subscriber. That is like my manyest. Even though if it's few, it's like um it's like telling me to motivate and motivate because as time pass by, who knows, maybe this channel will grow big. So uh, with that said, thanks everybody and let's start with the video. So for this video, we're going to be doing the spin the wheel challenge. If you guys don't know the spin the wheel challenge or how it works, basically you just put different types of albums or categories or any types of cards that you want in the spin the wheel. And then after that, you press the spin the wheel button and then once the wheel chooses what type of cards or what type of deck are we gonna build like what type of album categories and others then that is the type of album categories or any that we're gonna be using to build our deck and we will be seeing if our um, deck can handle the league game the rank game so with that said let's go start the video first we're gonna be spinning the wheel so this is randomized. I have no idea what am I going to take. So it stopped at Ocean and Seas cards. So in Ocean and Seas cards, I'm going to be using any Ocean and Seas card in my deck. So since we have already picked our album or type of cards that we're going to be building, let's go to Q and build our deck. Hey yo guys, so we back here in the Q game and now we're gonna build our deck. So first we're gonna go to cards and deck and then we're gonna go to the my deck and then we're gonna be editing some decks in here. So I still have a slot in here for a new deck. So since we have chosen ocean and seas cards, um, we're gonna go here. In oceans and seas or to the oceans card and then we're gonna be picking some cards in here so first we're gonna be looking in what will I put so I think I'm gonna be putting uh, I'm still scrolling down to check out what am I gonna be picking there's a lot of cards in here to pick and we need to find the right one so the first thing that I'm going to be choosing is this one, USS Texas. It says gain plus 3 permanent when it returns. So this is going to be useful. And then we're going to be using the HMS Victory. So once I won the game, I will gain plus 3 energy cost. And then we're going to be using the HMS Beagle so I gain plus one permanently once I draw this card this is um, useful what else and this one um, the flying cloud so this card means plus 100 permanently once you use it at first it's gonna be zero but in the next round you'll get plus 100 um energy points so we're gonna be scrolling down maybe there are some cards in here that's gonna be useful we're gonna go back again at the top so this is the macro shark so this is important because if i have an opponent that has oceans and seas card then it will deduct the points so let's go back up to the fishes maybe we could find uh, better cards in there so let's scroll up so this one is a polar bear so the polar bear once I win 
the round, I'll gain plus 34. So it could be in handy, but the problem is that we don't know if um, we're gonna win the round. So we need to check it out. This Water Strider, so it gives plus 10 to all Oceans and Seas cards. And it deducts the enemy's Oceans and Seas card. So that's gonna be important because it has a few energy cost and it will come in handy so we're gonna find in the fabulous fish i'm gonna be using this moorish idol because it gives plus 12 to my deep ocean and fabulous fish and also sharks but the problem is that the energy cost is too high it's eight points so this one, if I have a Moorish Idol card, this card gains plus 25 permanently. It could come in handy. Let's find for other cards. So this one gains plus 3 if I lost a turn. So yeah, this one is... I have a lot of cards that has high energy cost. I need to find for cards with lower energy costs so that um, we could play the game um, smoothly and start easy. So I'm going to be using this Neon Tetra. So it says 3 random Oceans and Seas cards in your hand gains plus 17 this turn. So I'm going to be using this. Might come in handy. Oh, why is it not going in? Okay, there we go. And then, what is this? The Mandarin Fish. Your remaining Fabulous Fish and Feasty Fish cards in hand cost negative 2 until playing. Might come in handy, plus it has fewer or it has a low energy cost. So it will come in handy. Okay, so we need to go down and then check if there is another Oceans and Seas card that will come in handy. What else? There's a lot to choose in here, so I don't know if which one should I choose. I need to choose carefully. What is this? It says when I start, this card costs plus two until played. Okay, I might, might use this one. It has 100 energy points, so it might come in handy. Okay, so it says that if I draw this card, I gain um, plus 10 this round, plus 10 energy point. Okay. I'm not sure. As I scroll down, I haven't seen any cards that is compatible for the other cards. Like if if I put them in, if I put them or if I played them, then they will make a combo. But I can't find for any cards that will make a combo. Okay, let's go back up. So we only have five more left. So that's gonna be 18. Hmm. Okay, let's go to the rivers. We haven't used the rivers. So we're gonna be using this. Has low energy cost and I gained plus 10 energy points. What is this? River Kwai. Kwai. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it says your raging, your raging rivers and superstructure cards wherever they are gain plus 22 per round. Might come in handy, so I'm going to be putting this in there. What is this? So all cards, both players gain plus 12 this turn. If you lost the turn your remaining cards in hand gain plus 12 i think this one is a risky play so i'm not gonna be using it so 
So the Hector's Dolphin, I will gain plus 10. So I'm going to be using this. So we have two more left. What else am I going to use? All oceans and seas in both players gain plus, two, plus 10. That's kind of risky. So I'm not going to be doing that. So I'm going to be using this Leopard Seal. It's a fusion card but it doesn't have any um, abilities. Just to fill the deck. Because I can't find for any um, cards. Okay, this one. The Mexican Tetra. It says two random opponent's card loses 12 energy points. This is useful. So I'm going to be using this. So now we have completed, we have 18 cards. So let's put complete deck and then we're going to put the fish. We're going to put oceans and seas deck or ocean, ocean deck. Okay, so now we're done making the deck. So let's go to the game. Okay, so we're done building our deck and we're about to play. Right now, I'm ranked 13, 13 Albatross. I wanted to <coughs> go higher. Um, maybe Katana? No, not Katana. Uh, rank the top 10s. Those rank top 10s. 10 to 1. So that will be fine for me. So now we're starting off with the Paleontology Terrain. And we don't have any Paleontology card. But... We have this one. Um, we're gonna be using this Mexican Tetra, and then we're gonna be using this Neon Tetra, and then we're gonna be using the Leopard Seal. So we have 143, our opponent has 40, 44. So the good thing is that we use a lower um, energy cost because. The limit of the energy cost in here is 22, and we have few energy cost. So for this round, I'm going to be using the HMS Victory. And then I'm going to be using this um, Polar Bear. So since we won, we have additional 34. We have 146. Our opponent has 149. And then he has plus 15. But we are still on the lead since our pink line is going across to the enemy side. So we're going to be using this flying cloud so that in the next round we will gain plus 100. And then I'm going to be using the um, mandarin fish. Or you know what, I'm going to be using this river kwai. So I, I have... 22 only I have the disadvantage but maybe we could make it up in the next round so we still we still won this round apparently so now we're in the space terrain so what are we gonna use okay so now we have plus 10 because of this uh, Futalifu river and we're gonna be using this combo the moorish no we can't make a combo because we only have nine so the only thing that i could do is that put this futalifu river and the mandarin fish so we only have 75 our opponent has 243 we have the disadvantage since we don't have energy costs our energy cost is very few and we have nine en energy costs per round in order to make a combo we will need a higher energy cost so let's see we have a merge idle card so this one got plus um, 25 so we're gonna be using this clownfish I'll be using the Moorish idol so we have 169 our opponent has 112 even though if we have the higher 
um, points our opponents still have the advantage since he has uh, more points in the last uh, time or in the last round so since we can't do anything in here the only thing that I could do is that give up first I'm gonna enter so that we could gain more energy cost <coughs> because we have 10 energy cost left and then plus 9 will have 19 so we might have a uh, an engineer so since we draw this card this card costs plus 2 so we're gonna be using the macro shark or no we're gonna be using this water strider so plus 10 to all we're gonna be using dusky dolphin we have 140 and then i'm gonna be using this hector's dolphin so we have 199 plus 10. we have the disadvantage because our opponent is 111 plus 8 our opponent has 119 so we have the disadvantage we have the advantage i mean so what are we gonna use because we have 13 energy cost so we have plus one thanks to hms beagle in the next round we'll gain plus 10 energy cost so i'm gonna be using this uss texas and then i'll be using this um neon tetra and then i'm gonna be using the mako shark so it deducts minus 30 to um, the oceans and seas card to the opponent's side. So he has 156 plus 10 from his triceratops. He has 173, I think. But we still have the advantage. So since we won, we have uh, plus 13 from our um, US as Texas. So now we're going to be using the so two random cards deducted minus 12 so i'm gonna be using the mexican tetra and then i'll be using the hms no i'm gonna be using the hms beagle so we have 89 our opponent has 47 we have the advantage So let's see we won the round now we're in the history arena so we're gonna be using this flying cloud so that when it returns we'll gain plus 200 or plus 100 points so it will be 200 energy points and then we're gonna be using the polar bear or we could use no we're gonna be using the polar bear i was about to think that we're gonna be using the giant isopod but we have seven energy cost left so we can't make it because there's only nine energy cost in here we have 173 our opponent has 154 we have the advantage So we have the, thanks to the Futalufu River, we have gained plus 10, so we have 13 as our starter points. So I'm gonna be using, let me try using this, of 82, so we have this disadvantage. Um, our opponent has like 151, and we have 82, we have the disadvantage. If we could make or we could pass the enemy side in the um in this round then we will win this round so let's see what should we use i'm thinking of using this clownfish or no we don't have the moorish idol so we can't make any so this one and then this one let's try no we have 97 so it's a bad choice 
Let's try using this. We have 107. Our opponent has 137. We have deducted minus 25. So we have the disadvantage. But on the bright side, we have deducted minus 2 energy cost for the clownfish. So let's see if we're gonna win this round. This is the last round. Both play. Oh my! <laughs> I accidentally pressed and turned, so it's my bad. But we will gain plus 9. But our opponent will have the advantage. So let's see. Okay, so we have 18 energy cost. So let's put the Moorish Idol and then we'll put the Clownfish. After that, we're going to put the Water Strider so that we'll gain plus 10 to all of the Oceans at Seas card. And then it deducted also points to the Oceans and Seas of the opponent. We have 212. Our opponent has 278. We have the disadvantage. We have the disadvantage and then we have deducted minus 2 energy cost so we have 7. So we only have very few energy cost. So I think I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be using this USS Texas. And then I'll try to use Dusky Dolphin. But if I use Dusky Dolphin, we have 133. And then um Yeah, we have 133. So we have the disadvantage. We're gonna be losing this round. Since most of the cards that I have chosen has higher points. So apparently we lost the round. It was a good game though. At least I could test out this other cards that I haven't been using and I know their abilities it was a great game well played to my opponent and that's it so I think the only problem in here is that I didn't get to choose the right cards because in this um, in this tournament we have a very few or we have a limited amount of energy cost it's 22 because sometimes in different uh, occasions once the uh, league resets the rank there will be different types of energy cost and the cards that i chose has a higher energy cost which is not good for a starter game so i have um lost this round because of that and i didn't choose a great card for my oceans and seas card since some of them don't have ability and their ability doesn't um, match all of the cards so it was a good game and yeah that's it so if you guys enjoyed this video um, press the like button click the subscribe button comment down below if um, I should make more of this video and if you have any recommendation comment down below if you want to talk about cards let's talk about cards in the comments that will be fine i like reading the comments so with that said thank you for watching and bye